The city's most visible techno marvel is the Burj Khalifa. At 828 meters, nearly 50% higher than the CN Tower, it's the tallest skyscraper in the world. Tearing away its glass skin reveals a hive of activity. Up to 35,000 people can live and work in this gigantic greenhouse. What stops them from being roasted alive? The short answer, water. Three quarters of a million liters a day for this building alone. Finding this much water in one of the driest places on Earth was a huge challenge when the building boom began 40 years ago. Today, the city relies on huge desalination plants that turn seawater into fresh water. But pumping the water around the city and into skyscrapers like the Burj Khalifa is a formidable challenge. Engineer John Zwetz has overseen the installation of water networks into many of the city's towers. If we're, on, uh, we're able to just look at the water distribution infrastructure, one would see a, a myriad, uh, almost like a spaghetti bowl of pipes. Water is distributed to every corner, at every floor, at every level. Using a single giant pump to pipe water right to the top of a building as tall as the Burj Khalifa would be dangerous. Forcing water this high up takes extreme pressure, which could make the pipes explode. So engineers pump the water up in stages, first to a huge reservoir on the 40th floor then to a series of 800,000 liter tanks until it reaches the top of the building. Then the water simply flows back down under its own weight. Three quarters of a million liters a day pass through the Burj Khalifa, enough to keep its inhabitants happy.